Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you how to make jewelry and accessories and all sorts of things using shapes and curves and just a couple modifiers. It only takes a couple minutes and it makes really cool stuff. So let's get started. The first step is to add a curve, specifically a circle curve in this instance, and then I'm going to add a UV sphere on top of it, and I'm going to just shrink that sphere down because this is the shape that we are going to put along this circle. Then with the sphere selected, I'm going to add a modifier, specifically an array modifier. I'm going to use this modifier to create more than one that kind of line up all in a row, and then I'm going to add a second modifier called a curve modifier. I'm going to scroll down and select the object of the curve as that circle curve that we made before. And as you can see, it applies all of these spheres to that curve that I selected. Now I can add more on my array modifier until it makes it all the way to the center. I can also go back to my sphere and I can adjust the size of it so that it fits perfectly within that circle. I can adjust it larger, smaller, I can add more, I can add less. And I can really customize this to be however I want it to be. Something I had to learn the hard way early on is that you want to keep the origin of your sphere or object the same as your curve. So if you move your sphere or object away from the origin of the curve, it's going to warp and look really, really bad. So make sure that when you move the two, you move them together so that they keep the same origin and they don't warp in any way. Once you're ready, you can actually select the curve and tab into edit mode. And then you can use the points that are there for you in edit mode. You can either subdivide them, you can move them, scale them, rotate them, anything you want. For example, if you're trying to make a necklace, you can move this so that it fits exactly the neck of your avatar. And it'll fit perfectly with all of the shapes that you created following that curve and going right along with it. Then you can go back to your sphere or your shape and you can add more to your array and scale it up and down so you can have the perfect size of your shape along your curve. I'm going to make another one, this time with a jewel, and I use this Jewel Craft plugin, which is absolutely easy to use and amazing. I highly recommend downloading it. The link will be in the description below. All you have to do once it's installed is just go to the add gem section in your toolbar and just pick one of them. I'm going to use this cute little heart gem right here and then just click OK and it adds it to your project for you. It's so easy to use and you can get all different kinds of gems. It's really fantastic. So what I'm going to do is use this gem the same way I used my sphere, except I'm going to rotate this first so that it is facing the right way because I want it to face out. So I'm just going to go ahead and rotate this really quick. Once that's rotated, I'm going to go to Object, Apply, and Apply All Transformations so that this is its new original state. And then I'm going to go ahead and add in my curve. Then I'm going to select my diamond, add a modifier, which is the array modifier, so I have more than one. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my curve modifier as well. Then I'm going to select the object of the curve as being that bezier circle I just made. And oops, I can see that I put those diamonds on the wrong way. So I'm just going to select the diamonds and click R to rotate on the Z axis at 180 degrees. And there you go. They're facing forward now. Now I can add more to the array, change the size of them, and get them all perfectly lined up. But let's say I want to add little beads in between and not just have one singular object. That is super easy to do. I'm just going to go ahead and take off this curve modifier and the array modifier, and I'm just going to work on the individual object right here. What I'm going to do is add a sphere shape because I want to put little balls in between each heart. So I'm just going to add the sphere. I'm going to size it down to exactly the size that I want it to be. I'm going to put it on just one side, not both sides unless you want to. One side of the heart, and then I'm going to join these two pieces together so that they are one individual piece with the origin set to the very center. Then I'm going to do the same process as before. I'm going to add an array modifier and then I'm also going to add a curve modifier. I'm going to select the object of the curve as the circle that I created before. And then I can add extra items to my array and it'll line up exactly the same way I did before except for it'll include the sphere. 
Now, you can literally use any shape you want. In my Avril Lavigne video, I made a full choker out of safety pins that I built. You can literally do any kind of jewelry, any kind of accessories. So many options are available to you with this technique. You can use any shape and put it along a curve. I've even made pasties with this. So you really can do anything you want. The last step is just to apply both of your modifiers and delete that initial curve so that all you have left is the mesh. The FBX file for this bracelet will be available on my Patreon if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see it in the next one.